Okay, boys and girls, this is a video on how to rebuild things. So if you look, our rotors are facing different directions. There's the steering box, and then there's the steering pump. And there's the, there's the uh, what the hell did you call it? The stupid thing, the drag link. So, everything's out. One of the cooler hoses just uh, twisted off, but we're getting there. All right, so here's your pump. Pumpity pump. Make sure it's clean. And you can skip this. You can clean it up later. Mine was really, really dirty. So we'll break it down. I'm going to break it down, clean it up again. So let me get some tools. Eighteen mil. I guess we're gonna have to put it in the vise. But I don't wanna. So grab it there, put it in the vise. <clears throat> Got it. Back to the table over there. All right, so we put the screws back in a little bit. We we'll use the golden hammer. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Got a star, though. Tap it, tap, tap, tap. And some lube on it. Lube it up. Come on, you bastard. I'm gonna replace the pump. Yeah, you need to have your hammer. Tapper, tap, tap.
Back to the vice. All right, guys. Sorry about the fan, but it's about 86 degrees in the freaking garage. No. So he's 2003 Express power steering gear box. This is a hydro boost. I don't think the box makes a difference. Uh, I think the lock ring off. We're just disassembling this. Here's my grease, uh, my grease fitting, my <laughs> dust boot. Um, I'm gonna take this out. I had this apart yesterday. I'm not gonna show you how to rebuild it because we're trying to, well, I screwed it up the first time. So we're just taking it apart. turned into a little whiner. Yes, I use transmission fluid. It's power steel fluid. It's cheaper. It's easier for me. I guess I should dump this in the bucket. Now I know what I did. <laughs> we just dropped two balls, two little steel bearing balls in the bucket. <laughs> All right, we'll let that drain. Uh, I'm gonna try and clear this pan out a little bit better and we'll come back. Okay, we're back. It's drained. Clean the pan. I see what I did wrong. I'm an idiot. You gotta be real careful with these balls. So, they should be inside the back of this gear in here. I don't think you're gonna see that. And they're at the bottom. <laughs> that could have been bad. Luckily, I only made it down the block before I realized something was wrong. So, here they are. Looks like I spit almost all of them out. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. I gotta count them. I gotta make sure I got as much as I need. So basically, I gotta back this off a little bit so we could spin. I don't know what the hell they're called. We could spin the big gear in there, and these go in the back of it. So I'm probably gonna watch a big, a good YouTube video to try and <laughs> figure that out. There was a good one with a guy named Chris Craft. Not Chris Fix, Chris Craft. And that guy, it was the Chevelle steering box, but it's it's the same thing. That guy, in depth, very in depth. But I gotta take this out and make sure there's no more balls in there. steering fluid. Let me dump it in the bucket.
Yeah, steering fluid everywhere is not so bad because you gotta have everything lubricated real good anyway. But you don't want to be working in the bathtub. So that's the that's the first piece that goes in. The couples in there. That T. Just went back in. There's still a couple balls in there. So you gotta spin this, to get it out. Pull that out, Torrington bearing, right like so. That's everything has a notch. Every single thing is aligned. Could only go in a certain way. And then this is where I think I screwed up. Alright, I'm not going to take the back off, there's even more. I'm not going to take the back off, I don't need to get that off, I just need to put these balls back in. If you look, they're black, silver, black, silver, you got to alternate supposedly. I don't know what I know. But, that's how to take your box apart. 2003 Express 3500. This is the same box in my 99 Suburban. It was the same box in my 91 Suburban. Uh, what was it 90K2500 Silverado? Uh, it's all the same thing. Maybe the fittings are different. Maybe the uh, the shaft has different teeth in it. Same box. Alright boys and girls, good luck with your projects.